this video we're going to be testing for negative sulphate ions. In this test tube here I've already got some sodium sulphate. Now you won't necessarily know what you've got in your test tube but I'm going to show you the positive result if you do indeed have a sulphate in there. So first thing we add is some hydrochloric acid. This is because you need this um, to be acidic so we need it to be a little bit acidic so we're going to add about a centimetre now, technically I'm adding a bit more than that, but that's so that you can easily see on camera what I've got going on in here. So after I add my hydrochloric acid, I then add some barium chloride. Now this should, oh, very, very quick there, this should produce barium sulphate. So because you've got sulphate ions in there, and you've also got barium ions, they actually form a solid precipitate. Precipitate means something comes out of solution. So it used to be dissolved, now it isn't dissolved anymore. So the barium sulphate is a precipitate, it's a solid, and therefore it forms this white, kind of looks cloudy, almost looks like milk or like you've put some chalk in the water. So, positive result for sulphate is that if you add hydrochloric acid and then some barium chloride, you will see a white precipitate. Thank you for watching.